Okay, hello peeps. So welcome to the last one in the uh, Diesel Shed Shunt series. In fact, the last one of all the Shed Shunt series. This is the uh, London Midland Region Shed Shunt uh, episode, I suppose you could call it. And again, another four diesels out of my collection uh, for you to uh, see. And um, what I didn't mention on the last video was where you would have seen those Western Region diesels. And uh, the West, the, the Class 52s, you might have seen them at um, Lyra, Exeter, St. David's, Newton Abbott, places like sheds like that. Obviously, Old Oak Common for the Hi Hymex uh, 81A, I think it was. Um, what, what other locos did we have there? We had the Class 22s. Again, you would have seen them uh, down in Cornwall Sheds, maybe St. Blasey, um, Plymouth, uh, Lyra again. Um, what was the other engine that we had there? We had four, didn't we? Uh, class 35. Oh, the Warships, Class 42s. Again, Old Oak Common and um, Exeter St. David's as well. Newton Abbott. So anyway, so that's uh, something I missed off the last video. But back to this one, the Midland Region Diesels. Um, uh, this is the last in the series, as I say, of uh, five uh, London Midland Region Diesels uh, in the 1960s. And uh, again, we've got a mystery loco in the shed. And uh, we'll see what that is. Now, there's a bit of a poetic license with that one. That's all I will say about that. Um... <clears throat> but anyway, so um, what have we got here? Um, so leading the um, triage and the shunting engine today is D5711. It's a class 28, but it wasn't when they were built in 1959. A fleet of about, let me think, 20. Was these 20? No more than that. That's at least it's Kobo. Metrovic Kobos, they were known as. Um, and, uh, yeah, very non-standard design. And um, all were drawn by about 1970, I would say. So uh, working life for about 10 or 11 years, non-standard. Bow, um, bow, bow, six wheels on the front and four wheels on the back, on one end, number two end. And, yeah, so unusual and lots of... Uh, Mechanical problems with these, and one survives D5705. It's being restored at the East Lakes Railway, uh, which I can't wait to see. So, yeah, this is doing the shunt, uh, the Class 28, as it became known under tops. One was painted in BR Blue, I think that was in uh, D5701, I think. I might be wrong there. <coughs> it had the BR Blue with a double arrow on it and the full yellow end. Anyway, so this is doing the shunt. Most of these were stationed on the former Midland region at Barrow in Furness, I believe, and they worked the Condor freight trains. Uh, so they went up to Cumbrian, um, and uh, you'd be lucky to see these anywhere outside of that region. They didn't stray much. Um, Workington, that sort of area, and any sheds up there, right? So... Um, Behind that is the Ubiquitous Class 24. This is a Batman model. Oh, that's a Helgen loco, by the way. This is a Batman Class 24, but they weren't known as 24s until 1968, 69, when Tops came out. This is a Bobo. Um, Solzer engine Batman um, loco. Um, got a nice motor. It's... Uh, in the plain green with the plain ends. Um, what else can I tell you about it? Uh, it's quite an old tool in now, this one. Um, but um, it runs all right and I'm keeping it, you know. Um, have I fitted the uh, indicated disc? No, I haven't. I did, but it was blocking the lights off, so I took them off. Uh, it comes with, uh, you know, all the accessories. This It's got a lace decoder in it. And uh different motor to the Helgen there, you know. So um so there's that and behind that is the massive D1 peak. 
Uh, this is Peak Class, the very first uh, numbered diesel in BR's fleet, D1. Uh, built in the late 50s, I think, 1957. Could be wrong there as well. Most of these were stationed at Totten. In fact, all the, all the Class 40, this late became Class 44, but um, this was the uh, Peak Class. Uh, but they become not, uh, class 44 there were 10 of these built and then they went on to build the class 45s and the later class 46s all very similar body design and all all uh, 16 wheelers and uh yeah these 10 peaks was mainly used for cold train uh, around the totten area um Class 24s, you could see them in London initially or at St Pancras and places like that. My pictures, my brother's got a picture of one of these coming out of St Pancras uh, in the early 1960s. And um, yeah, you would have seen them, um, let me think now, maybe up in the Peak District area, Chinley, that sort of area. Um, all over really. Um, Ambergate, maybe. So yeah, uh, these these were definitely on the Midland region, but a lot of them got transferred around. Um, so they're ready for their consist, and they're going to bring out the mystery loco. So let's see what happens. Class twenty eight is leading the way. I did have a bit of noise coming from the backy earlier on the twenty four there, but it seems to have subsided. I'll have the detail on that Hildon 28. These are really expensive on eBay now. And what's the mystery loco? It's a class 27. We've we'll just stop stop it there. This is a Helgen class 27. Well, later class 27. It's a Bobo. These were um what's the number on this one? This is D5356. And it's got the recess in the cab there for, for tablet catching. Which means that it would have started out on the Midland region, I believe, but mostly transferred to Scotland later on. I could have that wrong. I've just put this in with the with the, with the um, locos because I didn't know what to bring the full loco into the picture. I didn't know which. which sorry, I'll start again. I didn't know which uh, loco to complete the full full liner. So this got the plain green ends, and um, yeah, like I say. These might have been seen um, at uh, in the former Midland region around London, and uh, but mainly transferred to Scotland. Hence the uh, tablet recess that cut out in the bodywork there is to co to collect the uh, single line tokens on on the Scottish branch lines up there, which uh, in the early nineteen sixties uh, they were all moved to Scotland. The class twenty sevens and the class twenty six. That's the the 5300 series um there are 13 of these preserved so um you can see them uh, i think they've got one at Straths bay uh, they might have one where else have they got one of these uh they might have one at east lanks although i've not seen it and um a lot of them are stored as well but some are running uh there are a couple of peaks preserved um certainly there's a um the class 44s i should say there's certainly one at the midland railway center i've got one um i think there's one on the great central railway i think that's d4 i don't think d1 exists scaffold pipe i think that was uh scaffold pipe that was cut up named after the great peaks in the uh, peak district there and the class 24s do exist uh, they had one of these on the north yorkshire moors and again on the great central you can see these uh, various of these preserved so yeah all four examples of loco survive so let's do what we normally do we'll shunt it out what we'll do something different we'll take it around take it away get the metrovic to take it take them away you have to imagine that um that they're going around and what i want to try and do is put the um tail light on the on the class 27 there because it should it should be on no I can't get them to come on got the cab light on but not 
not the real tail light. Oh, it might be on actually, it's just very dim. See that there on the left, bottom left? It's already on. So we'll follow those round. I mean, 10 minutes already. It's probably going to be the longest one. It's been quite a uh, task this, getting these locos out. I've worked out the, at these shed videos, uh, four, four locos um, per session, per video. Um, and I've done 10 of them now. That works out to 40 locos, including the steam ones, of course. 40 locos from my collection, you've seen. So it's not bad. <laughs> and that's quite a task, getting them out of their boxes and setting them up on the consist and that, and getting the shed out as well. That'll go back in its box after this, this run. And I shall connect up the uh, test track for um, double running again. I'll re re put it back to double run. Uh, because um, the final, uh, well not the final video, there, there won't ever be a final, unless something happens to me, final video. Uh, the next video is going to be my two Acura Scale Manners running together, so that's uh, something to look out for. Now, why have we stopped there? Something's jammed. I thought something stopped. Alright. I don't know what happened there, I gave him a little tug. It seems to be okay. I'm doing it again. I think there's pickup issues. We need to change the points there. I didn't do that. We'll get some sort of hiccup, so probably need a good clean up. Track needs a clean up. Again, these are all running with different decoders and different motors, uh, as far as I know. Although the codes might actually all be the same, they might all be the lace ones. So I'm going to take it to the limit of shunt there on these points. Okay, I'm going to stop it there. Stop it there. It's supposed to stop. And then a second. I think I know what I've done wrong. That's it. Right, what happened was I didn't, um, I didn't have the, I had, uh, I was mucking about with number 155 and I consisted them to number 13 and that's why I couldn't stop them. I had the wrong number in the uh, system ready to stop. Anyway, so what we need to do is change the points, send it back into the shed. That's it. So the class 28 has got the signal to push them all back into the shed for their maintenance exam, F exam or whatever type of exam they're going to have and all these sort of things and uh, you hear the, the rumbling noise, these are really heavy when you're standing next to them um, sheer bulk weight, most of these are up to 100 tonnes each at least so you certainly feel it if you're standing next to them in the shed yard so uh, that's the uh, lovely class 27 um, soldier, or BRCW, Birmingham Railway and Carriage Comp Works. Built that. That's Medic in Birmingham. Now these were built at Derby Works. I think these were as well. These were built at the Metropolitan Vickers Works, which I'm not sure where that is. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed that one. So that's the end of the uh, Loco Shed uh, movements. And um, look out for the Acura Scale Manners next. Thanks for watching.